All right, what is going on my REI Marketing Weekly newsletter subscribers? This is the first newsletter that is going out for this newsletter. That makes sense, right? Um, so thank you, first of all, for subscribing and then make sure you share this newsletter around with people that you know that you think it might benefit. So there's a lot of cool things that we're gonna have on this actual newsletter. I actually mapped it out on the classic pen and paper right here of everything that's gonna be on the newsletter, which actually you guys are probably gonna see right here. Um, so the first thing that is normally gonna happen on the newsletter is this tip that's exclusive to the, uh, the, to the newsletter subscribers. And so I don't make this hugely public. If you guys, um, this is very, very specific, very niched into a specific topic that I wanna talk about. It's not gonna be more than probably five minutes long. Um, this one might be just cause I'm explaining the newsletter right now, um, but that's what it's gonna look like. So make sure you guys um, you know, share this around with people that you think it would benefit. So this, this content right here is not gonna go out on uh, social media. It's not gonna go out on a podcast or anything. Um, maybe in talking, but this is very exclusive. This video right here is exclusive to the newsletter subscribers. So um, what I'm gonna talk about today is self-shot testimonials. Now I'm looking this way because I got notes right here, so don't judge me. Um, but anyway, so self-shot testimonials, one of the things, one of the marketing 101 for whether you're a real estate investor or an agent, an influencer, or you have a bakery or you're a photographer, doesn't matter what industry you're in, Marketing 101 tells you to get testimonials, whether that's written reviews on Google or your Facebook page, or actual video testimonials, which 100% you have to get them um, and display them on your website, on your Facebook page, post them or whatever. Um, but unfortunately, a lot of times, either A, the client isn't comfortable with giving you a testimonial, whether it is a written or more importantly, it's on video, right? Because a lot of people are not comfortable on video. So it can be difficult sometimes to get that testimonial video, but you know that you still need it. So one remedy for that is to shoot a testimonial video by yourself, right? So here's kind of the pillars that I'm gonna give you to make sure that this works for you. I think it's so important to talk about the situation, to talk about how you help this person. Um, one thing that I would say is that if the person, if you say, hey, would you mind giving me a testimonial real quick? Maybe you closed on their house, right? So this newsletter is specifically towards real estate investors. Maybe you close on their house and you ask the person, hey, uh, Mary, would you mind shooting a testimonial video with me? And she says, no, I don't like being on camera. More times than not, you will find that if you ask this question that they will say yes. And that question is, Mary, since you don't feel comfortable on camera, do you mind if I use your specific situation to talk about it for my audience so that I could possibly help other people that are in the situation I helped you out of? So ask that question. More times than not, you're gonna find that they say yes, as long as you ask it politely and you're kind and all that. Um, so make sure that you do that. Then after that, if Mary says, yes, you can do that, go ahead, no, no problem. Even if they say no, still go out and shoot something, but don't use like, hey, this was 123 Main Street and this lady's name was Mary. Uh, don't, don't do that. Maybe talk about just generalities of the situation. But if they say yes, then you be as specific with the situation as possible, as, as, as comfortable as the um, client would allow you to be. So the, the pillars that I would give you is number one, talk about the problem. Talk about what pain point these people were having. So let's say Mary just went through um, a, a, a loss in the family. So her mother died and her mother lived in this house. She owned it free and clear. And so Mary inherited this house from mother um, not after she passed away. And Mary doesn't know what to do with the house. She doesn't want to keep up with it. She doesn't want to pay um, NIPSCO. She doesn't want, which is if you're in Northwest Indiana, that's electric. So um, utilities, right? Um, so she doesn't want to pay all that. She doesn't want to ha the hassle of putting a tenant in there and using it as a cash flow rental property or whatever. She just wants to get rid of it. It's a pain point for her right now. Talk about that. Talk about that on the video when you're shooting it. Say, Mary just lost her mother. Unfortunately, it was a very sad situation. Um, and then Mary inherited the property. And now we're here to help her because she doesn't want the property. She doesn't want anything to do with it. So we're here to help her take it off her hands, but still revitalize the home, put it into someone else's hands that are gonna take care of it so that Mary doesn't feel like she's doing a disservice to her um, passed on mother. So talk about the problem, talk about the situation. Then next is talk about the solution. Talk about how you're gonna help Mary out of that situation. The process, the process is very important to talk about. 
So go through how you're gonna be helping Mary, go through what you're gonna be doing in the situation, and then how you're basically bringing her up and out of that, and like the, the book story brand says, making her the hero of the situation, you being the sidekick, helping defeat this villain that is the pain point, right? So talk about the solution. And then the last thing is how you help the person. Now this is different from the solution because the solution that you bring up may not be specifically directed towards the, the actual situation that's going on, right? So maybe your typical solution is to close on the house. Maybe you do, um, you know, you know, you buy it outright with cash or, you know, you're going to turnkey it or whatever. Like you're going to make it a rental property, turnkey, you're going to flip it, you're going to wholesale it, whatever that is. Um, that's the solution. The way you help the person is how you specifically talk to Mary and said, Mary, here's what we're going to do with the house. We're going to flip the house. It's going to be beautiful. And then we're going to actually allow, like we're going to give you cash for the house so that you can get out of the situation and your hands are clean. Even though we're going to flip the house and make it whole again, you're out of the situation and you no longer have to deal with it at all. That's the, that's the, that's the way that you're helping the person. The solution is you're going to fix and flip the house. You're going to help close on the house for her. Um, so there's a little bit of a difference, right? There's not a huge difference, but there's a little bit of a difference. So go through those three things. And then um, the last thing would obviously be a call to action. Tell people like, hey, if you got this problem, it's a specific problem. Give us a call, you know, 1-800, we buy houses or whatever, and um, we can help you out of the situation. So that's my tip for this newsletter. Hopefully it brought you guys value. Um and that just do it. You got to get testimonials, but sometimes I get it. It's very hard to get testimonials from people. Um, either they don't want to do it or they just don't have time to do it. So, um, you still need to take advantage of the situation as a marketing opportunity for you. So make sure that you do. And this is one way to do that. So hope you enjoyed this tip. I will see you guys next week. Make sure that you read everything below. Some awesome stuff that's going to be on this newsletter, helping you guys dial in your marketing and get it right on the real estate investment side. It's a wonderful industry, so make it happen.